Hey guys, today's video is about the tragedy of the recent submarine implosion. I'm going to share the full story of what happened. It started on June 18 during the early hours of Sunday. A 22-foot carbon fiber and titanium craft called as a Titan, which is a submersible created by the Ocean Gate Company. It was deployed by a Canadian expedition ship known as the Polar Prince and was planned to travel nearly 13,000 feet down to explore the Titanic shipwreck site in the North Atlantic Ocean. The Titan lost contact with the surface ship after 1 hour and 45 minutes after it was deployed. Who were the passengers on board? Five people were in the submersible. Stockton Rush, the founder and chief executive officer of Ocean Gate Expeditions. Hamish Harding, a British businessman and explorer. Another British businessman, Shahzada Dawood and his son Suleiman from one of Pakistan's wealthiest families. And Paul Henry Nahialet, a French maritime expert who had completed more than 35 explorations to the Titanic wreckage. Where exactly is the Titanic ship wreckage? The RMS Titanic, the biggest steamship in the world at that time, hit an iceberg four days into its first transatlantic voyage in April 1912. It sank to the bottom of the ocean and more than 1,500 people died. The wreck was discovered in pieces in 1985, about 400 miles off from Newfoundland. Who is the Ocean Gate? Ocean Gate is a private company based in Everett, Washington, which organizes expeditions that can last up to nine days to travel to shipwrecks and underwater canyons. According to the company's website, OceanGate also provides crude submersibles for commercial projects and scientific research. Mr. Rush, an aerospace engineer and pilot, co-founded the company in 2009. OceanGate called their recent invention the Titanic as the only crude submersible in the world that can take five people as deep as 4,000 meters, which is more than 13,100 feet below the surface of the ocean. The company has taken people on tours to the Titanic site since 2021 and the guests have paid more than 250,000 US dollars to travel to the wreckage. Controversy In 2018, leaders in the submersible craft industry were so worried about the experimental approach of OceanGate and more than 25 companies wrote warning letters to OceanGate. They warned of possible catastrophic problems with the submersible's development and voyages to the Titanic wreckage. James Cameron, Hollywood's visionary director, also knew what was going to happen. The Titanic director had unique knowledge of the entire case due to his more than 30 trips to the depths where Titanic's remains were currently sitting. He quickly knew about the risks that the Ocean Gate vessel was taking and kept on warning them about it. James Cameron was always ignored by the Ocean Gate CEO. The Search and Rescue Operation The US Coast Guard coordinated with the Canadian authorities and commercial vessels to search for the Titan. A remotely operated vehicle from the Canadian vessel Horizon Arctic searched the seafloor and a French vessel deployed its ROV at the site. The US Navy also sent a machine that can help recover heavy objects from the sea. Sonar voice was deployed and sonar was used to try to locate the submersible underwater. Aircraft from the United States and Canada along with vessels also scanned the ocean surface. John Mauger of the U.S. Coast Guard said on Thursday morning they found a debris field consisting of mechanical parts found on the surface that led to the discovery of Titan's tail cone and other pieces on the ocean floor about 1,600 feet from the Titanic wreckage. They declared that the reason for the implosion was catastrophic loss of the pressure chamber inside the submarine. He also said it was too early to tell when the vessel imploded and that the investigators were working on a timeline of events. When he was asked about recovering the bodies of the victims, Admiral Mauger said he did not have an answer and said this is an incredibly unforgiving environment down there on the seafloor. He also said on behalf of the United States Coast Guard and the entire Unified Command, I offer my deepest condolences to the families. So, voyages on submersibles are very dangerous no matter how expensive and thrilling it can be. Thank you for watching. Take care.